Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Well, I'm here with uh, Jazza Dickens. Jazza, I don't know how to start this interview, but we had a little conversation off camera before I pushed record anyway. And um, I'll just start off with how are you feeling? How, is, how are things at this moment in time? Yesterday I was deflated big time when Derry told me. I thought he was joking. I said, Derry, stop messing, stop messing, Derry, stop messing. He said, I'm not messing, I'm not messing. I said, I thought he, I thought he was winding me up because I... He knew I'd made the weight well, and I knew he knew how strong strong we are. Not not we was how strong I am. He knew how strong I feel, and I thought he was joking because of that situation. And and he he was persistent, and and I realised he. And I spoke to Ian on the phone. He said, "No, you you've tested positive." And I can't really can't really explain what 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 I feel. I was just trying to, trying to be positive around it. And all this camp, I, I've, I've thought, boxing shouldn't be my happiness in life. And I've got a family and I've got all these things. So I'm trying to practice what I've been thinking all along. So, so I'm trying to just be grateful for what I have got. But it's become mind-blowing. I'm not sick. I'm not sick, and that's all. I went straight home, got an independent COVID test. But I'm not sick. That's the thing. Like I spoke to you a couple, an hour or two before we went and got tested. And you were ready to rock and roll. You were smiling. You were happy. So obviously you were showing no symptoms. So it's clear that you were asymptomatic. Do you know what I mean? Like you said yourself there that you're feeling strong. You're feeling fit. And even when I spoke to you, I said, Jazza, you're looking brilliant. Do you know what I mean? So again, you've said that you're deflated. And off camera, you said that it's not just you. You're actually feeling sorry for Ryan Walsh as well because he's done nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of them situations, yeah. For, for, it's a nightmare, really, isn't it? He's got he's got kids to provide for. He's got a family to provide for. Although um, the opportunity didn't come as in terms of I guess to defend my belt and all that. It's also then like this financial this, the financial aspect. He's given a lot of money. I've given a lot of money. You pay for these camps, you know. So um, I have to I have to not be so self self centered though within my thoughts because let's say I have got it and it is a thing and I give it to somebody else and then they get sick and then. I couldn't live with that, you know what I mean? Life's more important than boxing, and I get that. But, yeah, it's a bit of a mad, mad situation. I I, I was in denial big time, and I went straight to get my own COVID test. I get the results tomorrow, so um, I'll know then. But, but as I say, how I'm feeling, I could say to you now, look, I'm a warrior. I was going to go into that fight. I was feeling like shit. I could lie, and I could say I felt terrible, and I'm still going to fight, and that's how much of a warrior I'm it is. I don't feel absolutely nothing, you know. I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, that's what that's what I mean. Like, even though you are positive, like you're super fit and you're ready to fight right now, aren't you? It's like there's no symptoms on you at all. <laughs> and my heart my heart reads. My heart reads at 31. My heart my heart my heart beats per minute, 31. I'm in fight shape, you know what I mean? Right to fight. It, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I can't I can't really it's just mind blowing, do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I, I cannot. Obviously, something's tested positive. Something has tested positive for whatever they're testing for. But I only tell you that I, I, I don't feel sick. You know, <laughs> I'm not supposed to feel sick now, am I? Because he says I am. So yeah. That's well, you obviously you've got to isolate and stuff like that. But Derry was also tested positive. Like, how's Derry feeling right now? Have you spoke to Derry? He said he feels all right. He, he, he feels all right, but I think he, he, he did feel sick. He actually had a chest infection, I think, or something like that. He thought he had a chest infection or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure what, what that he's that he's feeling. He'll have to tell himself. Uh, but can I only, but my, my, my partner, she never has it. Thank God she never has it because she's, she, she's, she's, she's got the blame. <laughs> 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 you don't want to put a divorce on your hands already, mate. Uh, that's a good thing that you didn't have it. It's good to see that you're still smiling, though, Jazza, because I've seen that you've done a little video last night and you put a post out this morning and you're staying positive, which is good to, to see. And with MTK and all that, it's I think they'll get you out as soon as possible because it's not an injury. We don't do, like, it's not like 
it's an injury where you're going to be six, seven, eight weeks out or whatever. Like it's you, 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 you put tested positive. You're asymptomatic. You'll isolate. You'll get a, a retest, and then hopefully we can. Because you and Ryan are both fighting fit, so hopefully we can get this fight on as soon as possible. Is that what you're hoping? Yeah, that's the that's the plan, and um, I, I believe. And in this situation, why I am smiling, and why I am positive, because I'm trying to live to the keep the Lord's will rather than be negative because things aren't going my way. I'm trying to see what God wants me, and I believe that this will. Not only not only bring me to this experience, but bring a better experience. I believe this is going to be even bigger and better for me for this whole situation. I don't believe that that people are just faced with bad luck. I believe you're faced with opportunities, and this opportunity for me to be positive through these tough times and understand that there is a bigger picture and to trust in the Lord's will for me. That's very well said, Jazza. Um, was this the biggest fight of your your career? I mean, you did you have fought guys like Galahad and Brigando and stuff like that. But in terms of what's on the other end of this fight, if you win, was this going to was this the biggest fight of your career going into the Ryan Walsh fight? No, the Brigando fight because it was for a world title. It was the WBO Super Bantamweight Super Super W. <laughs> so many letters there, <laughs> but it was the world title. Do you know what I mean? It was to to be pound for pound number one in the world. Really, that was the that was the outcome. So. That was the biggest fight, uh, yeah. And the media for that fight, people don't understand until they hit that level of um, opposition. The media, it's it's intrusive and very very intrusive. It's unbelievable. You cannot believe. So that's why I try and try and be busy right now. In the past, as I've gone gone on, I've turned my phone in the cupboards and I said, "Fuck that shit." I'm not listening to fuck. I'm I'm in a bad bad place right now, I don't need to be going on your social media and all that, but now I understand it's work and if you want to acclimatise to this type of lifestyle, you're best just getting used to the heat, so that's why I am trying to be still on active on the social media, although it is a tough time for me, being active on social media and just getting used to the heat, because I know at where level that is the that is the demands, so I'm trying to get used to it. I have been ever since that fight. But well, Lee, Lee Eaton said yesterday that the winner of you and Ryan Walsh will probably get that world title shot so and that big six figure sum so it is kind of life changing this, 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 so what is after this fight if you win now this was going to be with no fans and stuff like that with you and Ryan Walsh was that going to affect you going into this fight if you, I, let me rephrase that You've, I'll ask you during the face off that will this affect you because you are you did have an outstanding amateur career but it was a long time ago you know, I mean, you're used to fighting in front of fans yeah. now. So fighting in front of no fans, was, was that going to be detrimental or help you in any way? Helpful in any way? No, not whatsoever. And I didn't see it as a, um, a plus or a negative. I, I'm just, I, I, at the start, when he said you no know, fans, I felt for the people who really wanted to be there. And because people love coming to fights and I love people being there and supporting me and stuff like that. And we all went together. But it, for me, it's a fight to fight. You know what I mean? It's just, that's that. It, they can't be in there with you. They can't. They can't do nothing for you. They can't. If if I, if I've got to dig deep, I'm not going to dig deep because someone's standing by me telling me I've got to work harder. I'm going to dig deep because I've got a family at home, no matter what. Either way, who's saying we need to win this fight? We need to. We need to make changes in our. You need to win. That that's why I'm going to dig deep, not because because Billy's fucking chowing and smash his head in. Do you know what I mean? That that that's a. Uh, Irrelevant to me and the crowd out there. I'm, I'm just in for in there. So you wouldn't say a footballer, a footballer, are you going to miss that penalty because there's no one in the crowd? It's just madness, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, are you hoping for to get this fight on this year? Do you think this fight will get made before this year's out? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not pulling the springs, um, but I do, I do believe there's something big on the way, uh, and I believe that too. Feeling like it. I have a, I have a, a prayer life with the higher power of my understanding and and the connection I've got. I believe that there's even bigger and better coming, and that's why I'm so positive. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this test and this for me and this growth. This this is what growth actually is. You don't grow by just staying normal and not going through upsets or anything like that. You got a a, a message to. The people or the fans that were sort of looking forward to this fight, they, I mean, they were going to watch it on Sky Sports, IFL TV, where, whatever, because there was a lot of love for this fight, especially when MTK put out the statement that you had tested positive in the fight. So if a lot of fans were gutted for the fact that, obviously, you had tested positive, but also that the fight against your Ryan Walsh is probably one of the best all-British fights that we were going to see this year. 
or post lockdown or whatever you want to say. But um, have you got a message for these guys, these fans? Yeah, I, I am sorry. I felt like I felt like on my own. I was like, I've, I've, I feel like I've let everyone, let everyone down, but I'm still unsure what just happened myself. Do you know what I mean? I, I feel like I'm in it with I'm in it with them. Do you know what I mean? I've been let down with them. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I am sorry, but please be patient with me as always. And um, it's just another, it's another fucking, it's just another story in my in my journey. And thank you all for the patience, and thank you all who was going to tune in. Not only that, thank you for all the messages that people have been sending me. Not just to the messages I'm putting the fights off. The messages, I hope you're well. I hope you're in good health. I am in good health. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. So thank you all for the messages and the concern. I'm really, really, really grateful. Because although there's no um, fans in the boxing right now, we still know without you, there still wouldn't be no boxing. Because the TV, who would they, who they sell it to? You know what I mean? So thank you all for the... For, I, I don't even like to say fans. It's, 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 it's almost disrespectful. But thank you to everybody. Definitely. Well, the thing is, is like, you, you're the first fighter of all the shows we've had in the UK post-lockdown that we've, we've, we're testing in place. You're the first fighter to test positive. I'm young. I'm, I'm fucking hell. I've been telling everyone who will listen to me it doesn't exist. <laughs> you're a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist, like. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll get me results tomorrow morning on me independent test and I'll know more. Um, I've been running out of series of, on YouTube myself throughout the old the old uh, camp and um, I will just finish it. I'll finish where I am from the old camp. I'll finish from now from here. I'll probably finish go right up until when the fight happens um, and that'll be a part of it, this old COVID thing and um, talk about conspiracies. But I'll tell you what I feel. I, feel, I felt like at the start, I thought there was no such thing as of this killer virus. Now I've, I've apparently got it. I can tell you, from my experience, I don't know, it's, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it because people have been affected by it. I don't want to say too much, Jan, but there's nothing wrong with me, you know what I mean, and I've got it. Yeah, well, definitely. Well, like I say, I'm gutted that you, obviously, but the fight was going to be, I was mouth water fight. I said to you as well uh, on Monday that it's a fight that I'm really looking forward to. I've been looking forward to for ages. So I'm glad in that sense. I also feel sorry for you, Jazza, because I know the hard work that you've put in this camp with uh, Georgie Vaughan and Derry and stuff like that. It, it's, a, it's a kick in the balls, uh, for, for want of a better word or a better phrase. But I feel for you, mate. I, I honestly feel sorry for you. I'm gutted for you in every aspect. I'm gutted for Ryan as well. But just stay safe, man, and hopefully we can uh, we can get this ball rolling again. Thank you, and thank you all, all so much for you and your your um, contribution to boxing. And I really appreciate it. As I always say, the, we need to use more than you need us. Thanks. Oh, I appreciate that, Jazz. Like, listen, go and enjoy the rest of your day, mate. Um, hopefully, you go, you'll be watching the rest of the fights on Sky Sports. Today. Yeah, massive shout out to me, man. Tonight, tired on do the job. There we go, I'll end it there. Thanks very much, Jazza. Stay safe, my man. I'll speak to you soon, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, everyone else. Thank you. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.